So, Brad Lewis, here to show you about the parts of the cell membrane. So, blue, strip and blue are the cell membrane. The cell, cell membrane. Uh, red is the cytoplasm. Green is the nucleus, the dark part, right here too. Um, yellow is, in, is a vacuole. And the pink is the ecto endoplasmic reticulum. And I'm handing it off to Brad. Hello. So I'm going to tell you what everything does. So let's start with the cell membrane. Like the skin covering our bodies, this membrane surrounds and protects and control the contents of the cell. Its structure helps control how substances enter and exit the cell. Next up, we have the cytoplasm. A large portion of the shell, cell is occupied by the, by the cytoplasm, which has a gelatinous texture. Like blood circulating in the body, the cytoplasm is always in motion. It allows substances such as oxygen and nutrients to be distributed in the different parts of the cell. It also holds the organelles in place. Next up, we have the nucleus. This is, the general, this is generally the easiest structure to see in this, in this cell. The nucleus directs the cell's activities. It, con it contains chromosomes, structures made of genes that enable the cell to grow and reproduce. The nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. This membrane controls the entry and exit of the substances in the nucleus. Next up, we have the vacuoles. Ooh. These um. are located in the cy cytoplasm. They're balloon-like spaces in the cytoplasm that store nutrients and other substances that the cell does not use immediately. Fat, for instance. Vacuoles also Fuck. contain waste that has not been that has not yet been eliminated. And finally, we have the endoplasmic reticulum. This is a folded membrane that forms a network of canals. Substances travel down these canals to the various parts of the cell, or to leave the cell. The reticulum plays an important role in cellular transport.